of series three have become a legend story mode. So last episode, I got very hot and bothered. It was a heat wave, it was difficult, it was frustrating, had some tough games. We just about came out of it on top, I guess. Last minute win against Swansea 3-2. And the game before that, obviously we got an important away goal in our Champions League quarter final. And we start the episode with the second leg of that matchup. It's gonna be a tricky one. Then only a few days later, we go up against Watford which could also be a tricky one. They are a notoriously difficult team. I don't know why it impairs, but they can be. Even though they're 19th in the league, I expect that to be a difficult one. A London derby, of course. And then Chelsea-Liverpool to end off the episode. It's a big one. It's a really big one. Liverpool have slipped out of contention, but they're always going to be a tough opponent. Right, let's get into it. How are we looking today? <sighs> Upward arrow, yes. Hazard looking good. Semedo drink water. Jorginho midfield is a horrible kick in the teeth. They're playing Andy Robertson at centre mid. Interesting. They've got Jorge at left back. He looks decent. Uh, obviously, ridiculous side. It's going to need Eggy to be at his mercurial best again. At least we've got Regani and Dave. But no. <laughs> no Kepper again. Downward arrow for him. Katarski, not ideal. Right, let's go. So, although we do have the away goal, um, I would put my house on Manchester City scoring at least once in this game. Bloody hell, that is a tall keeper. Katarski's about five foot six. That is a tall, tall keeper. But anyway, yes, we have an away goal advantage. But Manchester City are going to score, so we've got to try and score goals. Eggy on a blue arrow. Come on, let's dominate this. Let's find ourselves in the semi-final. Jan, that's a smart ball in. Jesus on the turn. Sane's effort has to be punched over by Katarski. Called into action for the first time there. It was a bit of a fortunate deflection, but I think it was going in. Off Aspilicueta's back. Good save, I guess. I guess. We're going to need more of them. Costa into Jesus. Ah, oh, bollocks. Bollocks. Well, there goes the away goal advantage. Manchester City take the league. Oh, he nearly won it back from Sane there. But then it's all too simple. What the fuck are you doing? Right, this is going to be a slog. Jesus. Oh, clever ball into Costa. Good defending. Oh, what a header that is. And then Eggy, smart ball into Eden Hazard. Can he get us off the mark here? Hazard, what a finish. Yes, Eden. And it is a side-like counter-attack there from Chelsea. End-to-end -end stuff and a great finish from Eden Hazard. We needed him to shine today. What a header that is from Martinez. And then a very smart first-time ball from Eggy into the path of Eden Hazard. Finishes brilliantly on his left foot. Sergio Rico left sprawling. So there we are, back on level terms now at least. Manchester City playing away from home, I guess, have the advantage if they score now. Then they really do. What's that? What is that? De Bruyne. Well, that was... Yeah, shit. Come on, let's concentrate. Eggy inside to Martinez. Holds it up and finds Eggy. Oh, Eggy with the smart move into Trent. Trent Alexander-Arnold now. Ball into the box. Could fall to Eden. Oh, what are you doing there, Eden? Eggy down the line. Kevin De Bruyne with him. A whip one in with the right foot. Martinez is there. It's out. Oh, what a hit that is. What a hit that is. Oh, Robertson, the central midfielder. Excellent challenge from him. The half nearly up. Douglas Costa cuts back. Robertson, that's a good ball in with the right foot. And Sane heads over. Tight game, lots of chances. It's an exciting one, as you'd hope for in a Champions League quarter final. Eggy now over the halfway line. We'll look to take on Jorge. Jorge. He skips away from him, but Jorge's made up good ground here. Eggy inside. We'll look to curl one here. Could still fall to him. No. Unlucky. Gave Jorge some problems there, though. That was good. Into Costa. Regani's tackle isn't strong enough. Costa will be able to cut back in. It's dealt with pretty well, actually. Can we have one final chance of a counter here? Eggy, smart ball into Martinez. will get there ahead of Emmerich Laporte. Martinez into the box. His shot is blocked. And there we are, half time. Well, it's been an exciting half chances for both sides. Uh, yeah, pretty even, really. We've had three shots on target. Guardiola's side, a little bit more possession as you'd expect. We've looked deadly on the counter-attack. Well, uh, the advantage, I guess, is still with Manchester City. Another goal for them would make things very difficult for us. But 
we can keep things as they are. Who knows, a counter-attacking goal could happen at any time. Oh, that's fortunate. It's fallen to Eggy here. Away from Pavar. Looks for Eden Hazard. Whoa, what an effort that is. Difficult position to generate that much power. Oh, got a little bit messy there, but Eggy was able to pick it up. Steps away from Pavard well. Puts it into the space for Eden Hazard. It's a great save. Corner here. Eggy looking to do his famous run from the far post. And he's there with Pavard. Pavard does well. Drink water can keep it alive, but Eggy's onto it in a flash. No, Hazard. <gasps> Something's happened there. Something has happened. It's not a pen, is it? Fabian Delph is being called over. I think it might be Jorginho on the edge of the box, but this is certainly Eggy territory. What a goal this would be to score. Get out of the way, Trent. I'm going to have a look at this one. Eggy over the wall. Into the wall. No. Sane into Jesus, real danger here, Jorge forward, Leroy Sane, he's not seen much of the ball, but he's always so dangerous on it, it's clear, but only as far as De Bruyne, that's a clever ball back in, Jesus, more good defending, it's been some excellent defending today, and that's good work there from Danny Drinkwater, Eggy spreads it wide into Hazard, Emre Chan. gambled there, didn't quite pay off, but actually I guess it did, because it prevented what would have been a dangerous break, oh no, it's an incredible ball from Costa. Gabriel Jesus is through. He's got Sane to his left-hand side. Leroy Sane now back inside to Jesus. Good work, Katarski. Brave goalkeeping there. Needed to be. And there's a ball on into Eggy here. It's away from Jorge. Cuts back. Oh, it's good defending. Yes! And it falls to Eden Hazard. And we get the crucial second here at Stamford Bridge. If we can hold on to this, then we are going through. Let's take another look at how that unfolded. Is that Miranda? I don't know who that is. I think it's Miranda. I think he tried to cut back in from Jorge. He got a touch to it, but Eden Hazard was there to lash it home. Just off the feet of Fabian Delph. And well, if we can keep hold of this, then we are going through to the semi-finals. But another goal now from Manchester City would be catastrophic. 80 minutes in to this huge, huge fixture. But Eden Hazard grabs his second today. He's been the hero. He's stood up. He's been counted when we needed him the most. Let's just sit in now, lads. Eight minutes left. Eggy, get back there. Oh, lovely interplay there. That might have actually been Victor Moses. But now Eggy can play it into Danny Drinkwater in the box. He's in! What an unlikely goal scorer! He has been little more than a bit part player for Chelsea in recent seasons, but he has been given a few chances by... Sarri this season, and what a time to score your first goal of the season. I can only imagine it must be. Hey, he looked up and he saw one unlikely figure making his way into the box, and we couldn't deny him a pass. I think it's good interplay there. I think it's Victor Moses. He was on it right back, and Eggy had no one else to look for other than Danny Drinkwater. Next Leicester man side-footing it past Sergio Rico to surely push this one out of sight. Manchester City have been excellent today, but they've just not quite had it in the finishing department. And, uh, well, we didn't expect it to be Danny Drinkwater for Chelsea who had it in the finishing department, but he has had it in the finishing de Anyway, unbelievable. Five minutes left. 4-2 on aggregate. Scenes. Leroy Sane now. Oh, yes. Danny Drinkwater, the hero, and he finds Eggy as well. Still lots of yellow shirts bombing forward, but Eggy will take this opportunity to make his way into the box. Eggy with the right-footed effort. Looking to get on the score sheet here in this historic game. Won't be for Eggy today, but we definitely don't mind. And that is it here at Stamford Bridge. A quite outstanding game of football from Chelsea. They've come in and they've beaten Manchester City. Three goals to one. We needed to make it definitive. We knew that allowing them even a sniff with the potential of away goals just was not going to work. And it was Eden Hazard today, the hero. No goals from Eggy. I think he got at least one assist, but... It's not about that. It's about the team performance. We performed excellently. Kept it at 50-50 for the full game. That's pretty impressive. I think he does manage a 7.5. He was good. Didn't have to score to be good today. Two assists for him. Not a bad day's work. We'll take that and we'll make our way through to the semi-finals. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Who will we play in the semis? That's the question. And it will be Leverkusen in the semis. That is a tie that you would take on paper. Um, yeah, great. Brilliant. Right, Watford anyway. Let's keep our heads for the Premier League. Still a lot to play for. Eggy, yeah, good 
good form again, not that tired. Watford have been a difficult team to play against. Those two defensive midfielders can make things tricky, uh, but we definitely need to keep the wins coming in the league after scraping one against Swansea, especially after the heroics at Stamford Bridge against Manchester City. It's got to be a win today. This is one of the sort of games that always catches us out. We need to be wary here. We need to do a professional job. Let's take them out and let's move on to Liverpool. Make it six points out of a possible six for this episode. Let's do it. Eggy now. Different options ahead of him. Eggy into hudson Adoy. Lovely take. Oh, it's fallen to Eggy here. Gets the shot off. It's blocked. Half blocked. Not offside. Hang on, what's happened? Oh, it's pulled back. I think for a foul. Yeah, on hudson Adoy. Edge of the area. It's not much in it, but this is a perfect opportunity for Eggy to open the scoring here. Trent would just leave us alone. No. Back out to Eggy. He'll have another go. <laughs> that, that, it, just Trent lurking there. Just waiting to hit it. It's the most annoying part of Pez 19. I don't, it's never been in Pez before. We've got another player waiting to take it. If you don't take it, they will take it. It's never happened. Never seen it. Oh, good ball in. Dini at the far post. Oh, and that is pretty much the first chance of the game for Watford. Ah. <sighs> I think he was actually trying to get back. The left back was forward. This ball just looped up to the far post. Miranda completely lost his man. And uh, it couldn't have happened to a nicer player. Martinez into Eggy. Takes it on the run. Hits it well. Forces the save. Chelsea look to respond instantly here. So there we are. Half time here in London. And as I said. Watford just seemed to be our kryptonite in Pez 19. They're just a really difficult team to play against. I don't know what it is. But yeah, this has been a stop-start game, devoid of much in the way of quality. We've had a few chances, haven't been able to take them. We cannot, cannot drop points here. We need to keep the pressure on. Martinez, nice back hit into Eggy. It's a cute little ball around the corner. It's a nice ball, Eggy into Loftus-Cheek. Got to finish that off. What a goal that is. End-to-end -end stuff. The intense concentration. Probably evident in my lack of talking there, but I had to get that right. And we did. It was nicely worked, actually. I love the ball from Eggy into Loftus Cheek. Eggy received it in a difficult position here. Spun away, and that's a very smart ball and a lovely finish. The uh, Loftus Vickery connection is back, and uh, I'm a big fan of it. I've enjoyed it since we moved to Chelsea. He's a player I really like, and he's a player that Eggy is linked up beautifully with. Hazard now into the box. Martinez. Eggy's in his way and Martinez is shot. It's just wide. Unlucky. The momentum is now swinging in our favour. Can we make things count? 69 minutes on the clock. Oh, Watford with a spell of pressure here. And Firmini has got space. Just to hit Will Hughes with that one. Oh, you should have dealt with that. Oh, we do deal with it just about. 81 minutes on the clock. It's back to Dini. Great effort and a lovely save there. Come on. Eggy, lovely turn away from Messina. He's very tired here. But he's found Regani, who's up from the back. It's not a bad ball. Now Martinez. Eggy inside here. Eggy! Yes! And he's there to grab the winner. Yes! Didn't manage to find the net in the last game against Manchester City, but was instrumental in the win. And today he's been quiet. He's been mistake prone. But you can see here, even though he's so tired, was so late in the game, he's put so much in. Busted a bollock there to get into the box. And it's a very calm finish despite the fatigue. Just opened up his body. Slotted it home with the left foot. Thank you very much. Top scorer in the Premier League. A poacher's effort there. Finishing neatly. And hopefully now we can hang on to this one. With only oh, one and a half minutes left in this game. What a time to score. Come on, just keep the ball now. Oh, lovely work, Hazard. And now Martinez can find Eggy, and he can finish it off here. <laughs> Lovely goal. <laughs> yes. And it's a quick-fire double from Eggy Milano Vickery to seal this one here. Scored his first of the game in the 88th, and then his second in the 89th. Lovely footwork from Eden Hazard, who's in a great spell of form at the moment. And Eggy one-on-one just curls it past a dejected Watford keeper. And that'll do it here. Lovely work. And there we have it, a performance of champions, perhaps. Well, we certainly didn't play well, but we did come away with the win. He with two goals in the final three minutes of the game to seal things here against London rivals Watford. 
very interested to see the league table. In the end, we just had far too much class for them. We created a lot of chances, ended up just about finishing the ones we needed to. Yeah, very happy. Another 7.5. Aki keeps rolling on in terms of goals. We're keeping the pressure on in a way, but just on the people below us. It's pressure for everyone, isn't it? It's between us and City now, you'd say. Arsenal four points behind us. Uh, yeah, 84 goals this season. Wow, we've only lost three games. That's pretty incredible. And Eggy with 52 of those goals. Not bad. 7.2, not bad. And let's just keep the good vibes going. We've got a nice long week off. And then we invite the Scousers down to the bridge. Let's make it three from three in this episode. It would be an amazing episode if we could. That'll hopefully give us the momentum going into the semi-final of the Champions League. Uh, Eggy back on average form today, but Morata's back in. I still do enjoy playing with him much more than with Martinez. Good midfield. Decent back line. Yep, happy with that. Let's do it. So there's certainly got to be an air of positivity on this beautiful day at the bridge. We're top of the league. We have been for a while, and we can keep it that way with another win today. But Liverpool will be a uh, difficult test. Of course they will. But at the moment, we seem like we can beat just about anyone. Eden Hazard now, he's looked excellent recently, he puts a good ball into Alvaro Morata. Eggy the only one there, it's Diop with him. Oh, it's through the legs! Oh, wow, almost ended his career there. Valdivia let it run there smartly, no one can decide what to do, and Origi is through and opens the scoring. Defensive error here of communication more than anything. I don't know who that was, I think it was Van Ginkel, he came, he didn't come, Dave was confused, and then they scored. Oh, great ball into Eggy. Oh, and he's just about smoked. Oh, Diop again just gets a foot in. Oh, well won there. Oh, and Eggy, lovely touch away from the... Cater was streaming in there. Eggy now into the box. Can he get the shot off again? It's Diop. Third time there for the centre-back. Somehow getting a foot in just at the last second as Eggy's about to pull the trigger. Garcia, good ball into Origi, could squirm its way through here to Valdivia who gets the second. And we're two goals behind here at home, early doors. We said we could beat anyone at the moment, but we have looked shaky in the opening moments of games. And Liverpool have taken full advantage of that. Another bit of defensive frailties on show there. And they capitalised and 20 minutes in with two goals down, it's not good. Origi into the box, the back heel into Garcia, oh, it's off the post. We certainly could not have done with another here. Ball inside, Eggy's back, deals with it. Nice ball out to Hazard, can we hit him on the break here? They get this, oh, what are you doing, Alvaro? Just needed the back heel there. Wow, lovely volleyed ball through there. It's out to Eggy now. Inside of Keita, into Hazard, lovely effort on the turn, it's saved. Really well there by, is that Carrius or Mignolet? I think it's Carrius. Good good save, good save. Cater on him. We know he's a good defender. Trent now into Morata. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, it's off the post. Van Ginkle can keep it alive. Into Eggy. The curler. Oh, Carrius. He's in fucking Super Saiyan mode today. He's kept out three or four there to deny us a way back into this. But now Eggy. Oh, Diop does well. Fuck. And there we are, half-time. Well, we really did try and get back into that. But the two goals in the first 20 minutes were just too much for us to reply to. We tried. We did try. Liverpool have been excellent today. We've had a lot of the ball, not done too much with it. This is going to be a real slog to even get a point from this one. Oh, the Ox has played through. Don't do this. Don't do this. No. Well, we're done here, aren't we? Fuck's sake. Far too easy here. How is that even possible? Valdivia's ball. Regani just a step too slow. He couldn't recover. It's a good finish. And we are done here. Oh, we're falling apart here. Falling apart at the seams. Divock Origi can make it four here. One on one with Kepa. Kepa does well. Still not cleared. Cleared now. Fucking hell. Oh, that's a really smart ball. I think he can take it under here. Ball into the box. Eden Hazard heads wide. It's essentially an open goal. The Belgian's been in rich goal scoring form. It's a very... Clever free kick routine here. Eggy lets it drop over his head. Take the touch. Hazard. Unmarked header. The goal. That is mercy. We needed that so badly. 52 minutes gone. We're not getting back into this. With chances missed like that. 
Oh, that's just a final humiliation. Even Jordan Henderson's fucking scored. We have capitulated here. You cannot legislate for capitulation of this standard. Again, it's Rogani just off the pace today. Henderson, it's a nice flicked header. 4 0. Will this destroy our season? Will it destroy our confidence? It's not the right time for a battering of this sort. Really, really could have done with making this less embarrassing at the very least. Morata, lovely ball. Eggy plays it through to Eden Hazard. He stayed on side. One on one here. Can he make amends? No, he can't. <sighs> Two big misses from Eden Hazard. And that's been the story of this game. Regani now. Eggy's in a good space here. Oh, my God. Oh, dearie me. Oh, uh, it's a pass. It was a pass. No. No, it wasn't. Fuck. <laughs> well, I'm getting annoyed at Eden Hazard, but that is worse than any of his misses. Might even be worse than all of his misses of all time combined, because that was quite truly terrible. Oh, Rigi out muscles Aspilicueta. <laughs> Fuck off. This isn't going to do much for our goal difference either now. This is embarrassing. Divica Rigi makes it five. <laughs> Just kill me now. Well, I've not seen a battering like that since the last time I went to the fish and chip shop. That was truly awful. I know when Issa Diop finally gets back to Liverpool this evening, he'll go through his pockets, get out his phone, his house keys, and then he'll find Eggy Milana in his back pocket, just gently crying. We could do nothing against the towering centre-back today, but in general we were poor. Eden Hazard missed a boat full of chances. And we, we only managed two shots on target. Depressingly poor performance. Eggy with a 5.5, the worst of the whole team. He couldn't get involved, and our poor form in the league has come back to bite us. City, they're only getting a draw at United. Oh, sees them sneak ahead of us on the goal difference that we lost from that last game. Fuck. So there we have it. That is not the end to the episode that we were hoping for. We were hoping for another victory to round off what has been two really good games and one exceptionally poor game. But we've got to recover for that for the Leverkusen game. We start at the bridge. And in the next episode, we do have both semi-final games sandwiched between which is a tricky London derby against Spurs. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. How many games have we got left in the league? One, two, three. Oh, we've only got three games in the league. Fuck. And we've dropped off the top on goal difference. <sighs> Shit. Who are City playing? City play Brighton. Palace. Oh, God. And on the final day, City play Huddersfield. No. Have we blown it there with that loss? Well, there was, didn't seem to be much we could do about it. Liverpool were just the better side. Well, onwards and upwards. I'll see you in a bit.